if you do a special point bracket and look at losers, I would not also not want to fight anyone in losers right now. Me neither. There's oh. T-Pop, there's Tay to show, there's Kamek. Okay, there's, wait. Like, hold on. No. Hold on. Like, Let's absolutely not. Let's talk about bracket. Way, Winner Semi's on deck here. Yes. And Carflow, I mean, I love the pick of the Krom. It's a game of much, right? Having the ability to space your pressure so you can't get up yet to shielded. This is... Going to be an interesting set. Meister, obviously known to be a very defensive, like reactive player, will like lock onto your options and just slowly punish you. And Carflow, known to be such a lightning hot aggressive player, and I think he's dead here. Yeah. If if not, then right there he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> I think Carflow, the Crom pick is great in theory, but if you get hit off stage by Game and Watch, you can just die, right? And we just saw yeah. that the back air and Game and Watch being able to stall off stage for so long is so potent. And yeah, this. Sorry, this Game & Watch Nair is also automatically puts Krom in bad positions. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Once you're, once you're playing as Krom, it's, just, it's so much diff more difficult to come back on stage, and that's one of Krom's uh, bad things as a, as a character. And Meister is just using it to his fullest advantage, keeping Krom up in the air where he can't really contest as as much as someone like maybe like Roy could, or you know, at least working a fastball. Another, another back air. Another, another back air to seal the second stock, and Carflow is struggling to even get more than half a percentage on Meister right now. Yeah, I mean, we talked about how like Meister definitely like a more like reactive, wants to go for these whiff punishes oh, kind of player. I mean, that's actually optimal if you think about it. Yeah. You so gotta kill it. <laughs> well, the risk reward is so good. But like every time Carflow has even made like any large movements on the stage, Meister has been there with like a neutral air, with like a F tilt, right? Or something mm -hmm. like that. Absolutely. To just block him out. And Carflow hasn't gotten a chance to really use the advantages that Krom provides you in the matchup. And right here, he's seeing these upies out of shoot as well are just doing so well for Meister. He's just going anywhere he wants around the stage because Gangwash does have that April mil mobility and Krom can't contest that too much in the air. He has to kind of stay a little more grounded. Uh, not much as Roy, but he's still not at the same level as Game Watch, and Meister is showing that he can just go wherever he wants. Yeah. But finally getting that, uh, that back air. Yeah, jab to back air for Krom here. Finally getting Meister in a bit of a disadvantageous position, but on Smashville, getting out of the corner. Let's see, Uppy here out of shield. Um, Carflow as well, yeah. Yeah, Carflow, it feels like even when like the opening show themselves to him, like Meister is almost showing them and then immediately closing them off. It's really good stuff, like really showing his experience in the matchup. Yeah, and, and, then, and, the knowing, and knowing that Carpool is going to continue using all those up airs and aerials on the, on the that platform and just going for down air over and over again, super smart on Meister's behalf, and also living that uppy um, attack, but unfortunately we're not living that one. But again, Meister a whole stock up, and Carpool at 129, you are dead. dead. You are dead. Yeah, the chair takes no... has no mercy, rather, and Meister with dominant game one. Not really, I mean, he's just showing, like, no matter what sort of playstyle you throw at him, these top players, like, these super top players, people who are, like, making it so deep in majors, you have experience against all sort of playstyles, right? And, like, even a player, look at that little look away. He's like, bruh. Yeah, I mean, a, I player, as, a player as seasoned as Meister, even a player as red-hot as Carful, you aren't, aren't going to be really able to catch this guy off. You're not going to really be able to catch this guy off guard. English is hard. I think this is really hard. Yeah. That's how I learned a second. <laughs> you should commentate in German and Chinese. That's scary. Let's well, not. Going that's, to that's FD really scary. here. FD, uh, interesting choice in D. Not really seeing too much from, uh, from like, you know, Krom or Roy mains, honestly. You really want them to have more platforms to their disposal, but I think given that Game Watch is the matchup at check here. Uh, if, I mean, I feel like Carflow didn't enjoy the fact that the platform was there on exactly. Smashville. Like, I think he thought it would be good for him, but maybe he just wants to remove that variable entirely. Look at these punishes from Meister. Like, every time Carflow is even slightly misspacing, there's either a traded hitbox and up he had a shield, or like a, just like an F tilt, like Harry punish or something like that. Exactly. Carflow looking Finally. way more nice. comfortable here, though. Maybe the lack of the platform is doing him dividends. I mean, Game & Watch known to get like way more extensions off of platforms, right? Yeah, so when you take him away, he has kind yeah, of nothing to his kit, and there is it is. so big. One of the best F tilts in the game coming from Krom, and Game & Watch so light. Again, yeah, one of the best episodes in the game, and Game Watch is so little. He's so light. He is 2D. Yeah. He has no weight to him, and Carfo like, absolutely as Krom can use it to his advantage state. But right now, we're seeing a little bit of uh, some spacing. But finally, Meister gained that first throw, but not able to get off with it with the lack of platforms. Yeah. And try and get a really, really saucy uh, Forest Smash, but Carfo quick with, it, with his disjoint. I think I figured out the logic behind the FD pick. Are you ready? Here we go. So it cannot, despite like Game & Watch obviously being really good at keeping you in juggles, I feel like 
the fact that like sometimes you have to land on a platform means that like you're getting covered. This could be death off that down tilt. No, perfectly spaced. Oh, never mind. Oh, you're dead. That F tilt into the back air. You're extra dead. But like there have been times where like Carflow's been using Krom's great air acceleration to get into juggles for free and just going all the way across the stage. And yes. Game Watch is not the fastest character in the world, right? So like I feel like Carflow's gotten at a disadvantage way easier on FD, which is a surprising thing to say. But like now that you look at it, it's actually happening in real time. And like now he's just creating a wall. This F tilt again. So big. Yeah, I mean FT is one of those stages, one of those stages where, where matches it's go back by really, really fast. Because you have nowhere to go. You have no you have less surface area to really go to. And Carful is gonna continue that momentum into the from the ground into the air. Master taking 35% for his efforts. Finally getting the run up into the uh, into the uh up throw into multiple up airs as well. I love it. The nair into up airs, such a good option for a uh, for oh, game. This could be death here. Oh, oh, you're oh! Scary. I actually I was okay. worried that Meister might have died there, but I mean, knowing it's legend invincibility. Nice down tilt here in Carflow though. This lead is so big. Yeah. He just needs to make sure he keeps on playing solid, keeps on creating this wall of swords. And Carflow's been being so patient on ledge, but unfortunately he's going to up air that first bomb and get hit by the second bomb for his efforts. And now he's the one stuck uh, facing the chef, facing the clouds as well. The and now in that up no jump as here. Well. No jump here for Carflo. Oh, but the up actually nice. catching Meister. Great reversal out of the corner from Carflo. This oh. F tilt. Bad DI, it looked like. Had and to be. Yeah, I mean, wasn't even a red screen or anything. Despite this lead from Carflo, one edge guard from a game and watch, one back air off stage, and it could just be over. These forwarders and back airs from Carflo, though, so hard for Meister to deal with. Yeah, absolutely. And now Carflo taking that center stage control as much as he can, but oh, Meister not able to continue that aerial momentum, momentum he had on him. That is not it, and, and we're gonna contest that up oh, no. with our up with our down air. Oh, oh maybe no. we're, okay. we're eating 80% of that. Okay. Yeah. Great back air from Carflow. <gasps> not quite killing. My fault. I love the way that Carflow opted to drift in the center stage and take the damage just to make sure. Yep. A nice back air there. Carflow opting to DI in and take more damage so that way he can actually land on the stage. It's such like an. It's a very cerebral thing to do, right, in the moment. Because a lot of the time, most players are DIing out. They want to get out of there, right? But Carflow, I mean, that FD pick did him such dividends. It's so cool to see, like, FD obviously a very unorthodox counter pick for a character like Krom, but yeah, you would never. But I think the 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 beast of living of fighting Game Watch with platforms on is more threatening than just dealing with no platforms no, exactly. and just going straight aggression. Yeah, and it worked out in his favor. But unfortunately, we are going back to small battlefield and as our bands yeah, from Carpa were small battlefield and I mean, I'm sorry, battlefield and Smash and Smash I mean. I like to ban on Battlefield, but I mean, Small Battlefield is a stage that notably is covered mostly by a platform. I mean, about a little, maybe a little more than half the stage here is covered by a platform. This does mean, though, that Carflow will have access to use the platforms once again for cover from Game & Watch, so we'll see if that comes into the mix. Yeah, but again, we're letting really Game Watch get some extra Ooh, cute mix up there. Some extra platform usage. And I think we're seeing that right now. Carpo kind of literally has nowhere to land, and, uh, surprisingly so, with the amount of platforms that we have at our disposal. Meister is just keeping Carflow up into the air. Yeah, I mean, something that Meister's doing to extend his juggles, he's is he's actually uh, standing on the platforms and then going for his move. So Locations. that way he starts from a higher point. So he has to spend less time getting to Carflow's location, which is really smart. This mm -hmm. ledge trap is going though, and Krom is such a menace out of the corner. He tried to rip an F smash there, it looked like, which honestly might have killed a character as light as Game & Watch. I would not be surprised. Oh yeah, it definitely would have, but thankfully the back here just slightly miss, uh, slightly longer than the than that of F smash. And thankfully there's an F to again to keep Carpo off into the air, and that back here is the most certainly going to the first stock very convincingly in favor of Meister. Carpo now is stock deficit and has to work even extra hard to get some kind of advantage safe back, because now we're going to eat maybe 50% again if we're unable to land safely. And yeah. I think we might be right here. Oh no, excellent. Finally, yeah. playing on platform and shielding through. Finally, I need a shield. I mean, Carflow spacing isn't very good. It's just so hard to always be perfect. And when, you, when you're when you not perfect against Game & Watch, you take 50 damage sometimes. These down tilts are so well spaced. And this up at a shield excellent. is racking up damage. I'm really impressed with how, I mean, Car Meister's obviously slowed way down with the lead, but Carflow is actually adapting to the pace really well. Yeah, Carflow is trying his best to really try to get some kind of stage dominance, but Meister again using Game Watch, Game Watch is a like quick, um, quick movement to just get out of range of Carflow of what Carflow trying to go for, and again going over the back air, but quickly changing up with the up air instead, expecting the up B as well, and Meister once again just threatening a lot of space between the two. Yeah, I mean Carflow's been playing disadvantage pretty well. Like he's actually been landing. Very effectively using a mix of proms, like really good fastball speed and like really good air acceleration. 
But like there have been so many times where Carflow has swung back around shield, not perfectly spaced. You take the up -eat. Okay, that's a little bit trade we're going to be taking. And in terms of positioning, Carflow should be in a really good position to edge guard. Nice yes, F2s. absolutely. With the F tote, Meister taking that, finally getting his first dog lost and stolen from him. But that's not getting quite yet, but we might be seeing another edge guard rotation. Perfectly oh, spaced up nice. And one of the things that a lot of players don't really account for when they play against Krom is that if Krom spaces the upbeat properly, it's actually some. There's a lot of the characters in the game that just can't punish it or can't hit it. Yep. And I mean, Meister there being the victim of it. And now, Carflow doing his best to make up this big deficit. And Krom definitely a character that can. But this dash attack is going to put him in such a bad spot. Oh! oh! I was actually worried that like a Chromicide was on the table. Yeah. But. Uh, no, I, I, yeah, I, I know he was trying to go for it. Definitely trying to try to go for a Chromicide, but Meister was just a little bit easier, a, a little bit faster at picking up the pace to go back to the ledge and Carflow eating a unnecessary stock. And now this might be games if he's unable to take this advantage state or take a advantage state back towards himself. Yeah, I mean, trying to put it down to yeah. yeah no. Carflow is doing his best, and I mean he is doing a really good job. Like. Just because Meister is like getting more out of these openings, Carflow's doing a really good job of spacing its pressure, being really good about always being in Game & Watch's face with the disjoint. It's just so hard because the risk-reward in a lot of these situations is very skewed towards Game & Watch. You can see Carflow is trying to slow down as much as he can, trying to space out uh, his poking with down tilt, trying to get some advantage, uh, some um, some opportunities to come into the scene. Nope. But there is that, that F-tilt to, F to, to two frame V up B. Mm. And that is the game. That's winner side for for Carflow. Has to go through the the nefariousness of losers. Yeah, I mean, really good showing from Carflow. I mean, pushing Meister pretty far. I mean, it just Meister at the end like had the upper hand in a lot of these situations, and he did such a good job of exploiting Krom's weaknesses, which is what you have to do because if you let Krom like live really long, and if you let Krom like dominate the stage. That's when he's like Superman, right? Absolutely. Look yeah, at this. this that, yeah. was just ex that was just excellent timing. Excellent execution, excellent adaptations from both players. It was so cool to see. The FD counter pick is still one of my favorite. It was so cool to witness, like, an unorthodox counter pick. I love FD.